Well, welcome once again to Vehicle Maintenance and Repair System, Gary Della Cruz, your host and mechanic. Today, behind me, I have a Nissan X-Trail. The only thing about this the Nissan X-Trail is that it is basically a uh, two-liter diesel, okay? Now, I don't uh, get um, these diesel ones in quite often, but the DCI two-liter, it's a 2014 model, so I'm going to take you this out. I'm just checking the horizon with the dashboard quickly, okay? Um, basically, you know, it has um, it has your normal dash layout there. You put your ignition on, and it has all the warning lights and so on. It goes through its pre-checks. Okay, so it's got your speedo on the right hand side, a rev count on the left, temperature gauge on the left, um, fuel gauge on the right. It's got a stalk on the right hand side for the wiper operation. You know, squirting water and activating the wipers. It's got the light switch on the left hand side. It's got a full control on the um, steering. Okay, so you can do uh, Bluetooth calls and so on. It's got the um, speedo cruise and uh, volume control. And then it's got a center, um, you know, uh, um, control system over here where it has a built in uh, radio. And then, of course, it has the aircon controls. It's a um, five speed manual normal lever handbrake um, it's a very spacious vehicle okay uh, good headroom good legroom um, nice uh, space I like the dark interior you know because it shows dirt uh, doesn't show dirt that easily okay it's got controls on the right hand side uh, door you know for your windows and your um, mirrors okay so that's basically inside the car so let's go and take a look at the engine Okay, so the engine layout is basically, I've got this cover all loose, so we'll just basically pull that up. It uh, normally works with a little, uh, you know, the, 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 the grommets, okay, which we have, uh, here something's broken off here, uh, looks like that's part of this uh, plate that's broken off. Um, or oh, there's these rubber grommets, you know, that holds that cover down. So we'll just move that cover out of the way. The layout is a such as you know diesel, they do not have spark plugs, so we have a diesel filter there, I'll show you how to replace that. We have the air filter over here, and then we have the oil filter assembly at the bottom. I'll show you that when we get to drain the oil. Okay, so without further ado, let me go ahead and get the engine oil put into the uh, So without further ado, let me uh, go ahead and get some flush put into this engine. Okay, with the engine fairly warm, okay, we've removed the well for the cap over there right um, I suppose this is <laughs> the dipstick is incorporated in the oil for the cap did you see that okay um, that's quite interesting and then of course we will take our uh, Spaniards the flush board into the engine uh, the whole uh, 375 mil. We'll get the dipstick put back, or dipstick with the oil for the cap, <laughs> and uh, set a 15 minute timer, okay, and get us started. So we'll get back to the, the 15 minutes, and when the 15 minutes is up, We'll come and we'll come and uh, get the oil drain. Okay, time's up, so we'll just miss that timer. We'll get the car Okay, we'll get that uh, cap taken off out of the way. Alright, so we have, a, we have a sun plug over there. Alright, which I basically just use a square of bulk that I made. Alright, it just fits in there, it's the same as the Renault's Okay, so basically loosen up the sump plug with that spanner I'll get my receptacle in place Okay, and we'll turn that loose until I can pull it out of the way and the oil drains straight into my receptacle Once that oil is finished draining uh, we'll go ahead and here where my hand is, uh, the oil filter, um, it's a cartridge type filter and that's the casing, we use a size 27 socket to take that casing off. Okay. <laughs> we get an extension in there, okay, and then anti-clockwise, 
to loosen up and when she's loose enough okay we don't want to mess too much there we want to move the receptacle into place so it catches all the dirty oil we turn it the rest of the way by hand okay and out she comes okay that's what the filter looks like we'll take a closer look on the bench well so there we are that's the oil filter assembly for the Nissan x -Trail. so we'll just basically simply just pull the filter out it's a it's a GUD M M107 okay it's a cartridge type filter uh, same aperture both sides so it doesn't really matter which side it goes in just take the excess uh, oil over here and just pour it into my drum and then quite simply you know just a little bit of engine cleaner that's what I do um, you know just a little bit of engine cleaner inside that that unit there all right nicely like that and then we'll take a brush and then just give it a good old wash out we just want to get all that dirty oil out of there okay see there's a chip on you so somebody must have damaged it a bit you know when they service it it's the first time i am servicing this car okay so basically all i do is just give it a good rinse out rinse it out with water okay and then just put it out in the sun to dry or use a, a, a um, use an air compressor to dry it out i normally just let it stand in the sun for a while okay and that basically just gets it to dry out nicely okay so you've got that in your brush off okay see how that's all emulsified and it goes down into a trap which i have which i empty out ever so now and then all right so that's your filter so what we do is we just take a little pick and then we'll take the filter the, the the seal off because we'll be getting a new seal with a new filter okay so she's ready to go and sit out in the sun a little bit okay and we'll just wipe off the excess with the cloth and i'll just leave that out in the sun that's what i do at least i just let it sit out in the sun so it can dry out nicely i'll get it later when i need it all right next it's the air filter okay so coming in from there from the front like that okay we'll see here's two clips it's a, like a cartridge that we need to just slide out okay two clips there we slide the cartridge out quite simply like that that houses your air filter okay so we can just take it to the bench and tip out get that air filter to tip out like that okay and that is a um the air filter you can see it's pretty dirty that's the cartridge okay so quite simply it all just gets put back the way we've taken it out all right very simple so now we'll go to the uh, diesel filter okay that's your diesel filter house down there it's got four pipes on it all right so uh, we need to take this diesel filter out okay so the first thing that i would do is just to move this this is uh, the, the the a breathing a breathing pump okay socket and ratchet size 13 we'll just go we we'll loosen that bolt let me just get my work trolley close by okay so this is just easy i never uh, like to leave things on the engine bay when i work on a car you know you will notice i always have my work trolley close by so that i can just put my tools and my parts down there when it gets taken off so we'll just loosen up this bolt here this is a bolt it's a size 13 head okay we'll take that out there's two nuts here okay that holds this bracket so we're going to take this bracket out and i think these two bolts at the same time also hold the filter in place but let's do it a step at a time here okay so you can keep track of it so there are two nuts okay two studs are left behind over there so that bracket is supposed to come out of the way but now for us to get that out of the way we're going to have to disconnect the one pipe over here so this is just basically a protection cover this one over here okay so what we need to do is we need to sort of uh, take this pipe out of the way there's just two clips uh, two little buttons you push in here on the sides like that and then that should release it should release that pipe there now you know it's always easier said than done but uh, i'm gonna get me some help here i'm gonna use two uh, two screwdrivers push them in 
and then find a find a way to to actually release that i'm sure you use a special tool for this okay so you release that and then we'll take the bracket this bracket totally out of the way okay we'll just get that bracket out of the way like that okay so there you can see the filter now okay so we need to take um okay here's where it comes in okay i would suggest that you basically take a photo so that you can remember where the pipes actually comes in okay so we'll go down there we take a nice picture nice clear picture so that we know which pipe goes where okay you know how things go we tend to get a little lost in the task all right so we can take that safely out of the way we can pull this one off, off completely it's the same setup here okay you know as you can see if you press if you if you depress that in there um, then you can see what basically happens you know it, 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 it opens up okay and it comes off you know that that little rim there okay so it comes off that rim and and, and uh, you know it gets pulled off so that's out of the way we've got this one over here same thing and that one um i'm just going to need some help with pushing these tabs in and while you push the tabs in you have to basically move the pipe off okay like that same on this one i don't see how you can actually muddle these pipes up because they are molded so they're molded into a certain position okay so you can't i, I don't actually see you muddling these pipes up but just in case you've taken the photo you know if you get a little confused you can see that's a thick one that's a thin one so i mean those can't be interchanged and then some of them are just more difficult to get to than others we just got to get that pressed in okay there we go quite simply all right so all these pipes there's actually a bracket there's a bracket on the that holds the filter because we want to take this whole filter out of the way now okay and go and work it on the bench which is going to be easier but now to get these to get these units off without breaking it take that out of the way like that um, this one the whole filter will lift but now they've attached these pipes with brackets there just be careful guys it's plastic you know plastic things uh, the score is not exactly new so we'll take that and okay all right and then we have the we basically have the the drain unit uh, not the drain unit the water trap which also has to be taken out of the way so all we have to do is we need to press that clip down to unlock it and then get that to push back okay you see that okay it's just uh you just have to push that down in like that you see that and then that will basically release her all right i don't know why they make it so difficult but anyway here we are our pies okay this is what we need to replace so i suppose we will just take um we'll just take this um the bracket off okay there's a bracket that holds it but now remember the orientation here guys this is what i would do before i even take this thing off the bracket okay um you've got to try and orientate your filter because you must now remember your filter can go on a million ways here okay so what i would do i would just take um some topics okay make a mark on the bracket itself okay and then make a mark on my filter okay opposite that that mark so that i know when i do put the new filter in you know i can orientate that new filter accordingly and then also we won't have a muddle up with the with the with the piping 
Okay. So quite simply, I just have this filter put into the vise. Okay, not too tight. And then just to loosen up the bracket over there. Okay. Remember now we made a mark there. Okay. On uh, how the bracket uh, orientated with the filter. And then we will basically slide the bracket off. Okay, we slide the bracket, the bracket is slid off there, like that, that's our filter. You know they quoted me quite a, quite a bit of money for this filter, so I'm taking it that, that probably is expensive, because I don't know if the sensor comes with it, or if the sensor, you know, gets taken off this filter, but I'm going to take the filter with me as a sample. And then uh, we'll have to see, you know what I mean? I haven't done one of these before, so that's why I don't know whether that comes off or not, or whether it comes with a filter. So I'm just going to take the filter along with me, and then see what they basically give me to replace it with. Okay, if needs be, uh, you know, this might have to come off, that unit might have to come off, I'm sure. But uh, we'll, we'll learn together, okay. Okay, so we have the parts. Okay, we uh, obviously the flush, we've used the flush, so that's for the next car. Okay, we've got a Bosch uh, diesel filter, uh, N2108 part number. We've got a GUD air filter, uh, AG1368, and a, um, a GUD uh, oil filter, uh, M107, it's a cartridge type, and we're using 15W40 remula. We need about 8 litres of oil, okay, therefore the two 5 litres. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this part fitted. Okay, so we've got our Bosch filter there. Let's see what we get in the kit here. Okay, so okay, this valve comes with it. Okay, and we get a little uh, O-ring here, which means that if I figure this out right, we need to take the sensor out. So let's see what screws loose. Oh, okay, screw, okay. Okay, let's see, no. Okay, so it just pulls out. All right, so here's a sl slot here, okay. You can see a slot there, so you basically put it in to the s in like that to the slot, push it in, and then give it a half a twist. Okay, and then it locks in. But now, yeah, so that is where that that is where that um, little O-ring comes in. Then, okay, and we'll just scoop that O-ring out of there quickly. That's an old one. Okay. There's a new one in the packet there. Okay, we just get it slightly lubed up. The o-ring over. Get it to go into the groove nicely. Okay, there we are. Sensor's not dirty, so we don't need to give it a wash off. So let's put the new filter. Remember how we orientated these filters here? Okay, uh, remember we put a we put a mark we put a mark on it. So let's just try and duplicate that mark, which I would say is about here. Okay, so I would say that mark is about is about there. So we can take off these little stops over there. Uh, we can now put in our new give it a twist and it will basically lock up there okay so let's go and we put this we get this the spotter thing back into the bracket there first okay they've got the gap there then we'll bring that around more or less get the filter into the vise okay as I'm doing it now and then we'll just get that unit like that okay let's get our bolt back to get our bracket to tighten tighten our bracket up nicely 
Okay, look, that, that mark doesn't need to be like a hundred, hundred, hundred percent. It's just got to be close as damn it. Okay. Um, you know, that orientation is just basically so that we don't get our pipes muddled up too much. Okay. So we need to tighten up this clamp nicely. Okay, it's got a stop on it. So when you feel it goes tight, don't force it. Just turn it against and tight. Like that. Okay. So there we are. We have our new filter. Okay. I'm just double checking all my marks here, making sure. Okay, so now we will first take our uh, plug. We'll plug it in over there. Okay, clicks in nicely. We get it to go down onto that two box, okay, that was holding it in position. So now we can just slide, you see how nicely the, you know, the pipes now just sort of fall into place, okay. Pipes will just all nicely fall into place and we can just click them in pretty simply. And then we can get the main bracket over. But before we go and do that, let's get our pipes. You remember these little clips? Okay, that we had. We'll just clip everything into place again. Get everything back into place where it was. So, hold up with the with diesel, but it does have this hand pump as well. Remember, we took this hand pump off, so we can put that hand pump back now. Now that the brackets back, okay, we we'll get that hand pump into into position as well probably for the filter and when this uh, squeeze pump gets tight like it's getting now means that it's yeah there we go it's getting pretty tight now uh, really anymore like that okay and then now we can just go back and put the put the uh, uh, sun plug back put the oil filter back okay so we've got our uh, oil filter uh, holder nice and clean okay um, we take the new filter right you can see that's pretty clean and then the new o-ring which we've taken off earlier just to make it nice and flexible okay so when we turn it on it doesn't stick anywhere all right so now we can just take our filter, we'll stick our filter in, give it a push, you feel it all clicking, and she's ready to be fitted. Okay, so we'll get the oil filter in. Okay, just thread it by hand. We'll tighten it now with a the spanner. Then we'll get our thread, our sump plug in. Okay, to tighten. Uh, nice and tight. Just get the spanner to release. Get the oil wiped up. And then of course with a size 27 socket, we'll tighten up our filter housing. Okay, also 20, 25 newton meters. Okay, nice and tight. Okay, wipe off all spools. And we'll come back here when we start her up to check for leaks. So with a brand new filter in there, we'll just get our cartridge to go down. Okay, nice and snug. Put our clips on and our ear filter spitted. So I'll start with five litres of Remula. Get that 5 litres poured in, 
going so that's five liters so far so we're putting in another 2.5 2.5 four liters of oil 2.4 2.5 according to the uh, auto data spec it is 7.4 liters okay um, five in there <coughs> Okay, we'll get some oil for the cap back and then we'll go ahead and start this car. Okay, so we've got the oil filled, we've got a diesel filter primed, let's start up. Okay, start easy enough, oil filter, oil light goes out pretty simply, pretty easily. So it looks like that uh, bit of priming and pumping on that uh, uh, diesel uh, system uh, did the trick. Okay, so we got to start it quite simply. Well, let's go check the leaks. Okay, jump plug nice and dry. No filter, nice and dry. No drips, no leaks. Okay. We do to check on our diesel filter. All the junctions over here. No leaks. Nothing leaking down at the bottom. You know, of the... Of the filter thing. So yeah, all done. So, we've got the oil change. We've got the... Air filter change, oil filter, oil, and uh, a diesel filter. So that's your basic service on your uh, Nissan uh, X-Ray. Um, um, I hope that you find this video useful. Uh, from uh, Gary Dalla Cruz at VehicleMaintenanceAndRepairs.com. Drive carefully until the next time. Cheers.